What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tommy. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. You guys, I ran out of drink ideas. I don't really be drinking. My parents don't drink at all. So when I'm at home, my options are very limited. So today we just have water. We're keeping it simple. So we're gonna stay hydrated. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys episode five, I believe, of my I'm Done With Society series. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about play bells, which I hate. So if you want to hear everything I have to say about play bells, then just keep on watching. Get your drink, you know, have fun, relax, and keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with like astrology. First of all, first of all, let me just say that this video is only speaking from one one perspective okay i prefer to focus on one perspective in these videos if you don't agree it's cool if you agree it's also cool you know if i focus on both perspectives there's going to be a lot of talking blah, 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 blah. i like that's what i want to do i don't want to talk you guys this air ears out and then you just be like this no i'm trying to maintain a good relationship here okay so first of all society loves to contradict themselves when it comes to labels like they'll be like yeah labels are for clothes not for people or for food items or whatever but then they are so quick to put you in a box which i hate and it's just like so frustrating the moment someone makes a youtube video oh my gosh she's a youtuber if you make a skit on instagram oh my gosh she's an instagram comedian and it's just like why can't i just try new things without being put in a box like there's a difference between Make it someone that makes YouTube videos and someone that is a YouTuber. I feel like a YouTuber is someone that does it regularly. But if someone is just on and off and doing it as a hobby, like how I used to be, and then it's just like, oh, I'm a student because I was a student then. I'm a student that makes YouTube videos. You guys, do you agree that there's a difference? Tell me in the comments. Like, I want to know if you actually think the same way or if I'm just like kind of delusional. Actually, no, I'm not delusional. You're delusional. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, it's just frustrating. It's just like, oh, why can't I just be myself? They'll be like, yeah, try new things. Like when you're young, do this, do that. Like that's how you find what you love, and that's how you find where you're supposed to be and your passion. And then it's like, where you try things, they'll put you inside a box, and it's like sometimes it's like they make you feel like you can only stay in one box. But they, they are saying you can be whoever you want to be. You can be anybody you want to be. You can do whatever you want. But then it's like people process it better when you like give them the label that you associate with the most does that make sense like i don't know if you just kind of say oh i do everything like people will not really know how to to categorize you because it makes it easier for them when they can categorize you should i take off this necklace i think i'm going to take off this necklace okay with astrology the thing is, I'm not trying to knock anyone's beliefs. If you believe in astrology, great. If it works for you, great. If it makes you a happier person, good. Do it like, you know, you can be all about it. But the thing is, I feel like a lot of people use astrology as an excuse for their rubbish behavior. Yeah, like, oh, I'm so intense, it's because I'm an Aries. No, everybody has things they can work on. Everything is not because you're Scorpio, you're an Aries, or you're a Sagittarius, or whatever it is. Like, why can't you just accept that you're false? Must you blame it on your freaking star sign? Like, take responsibility for the parts of yourself that need improvement. Nobody is perfect. Ew, that sounds so cliche. But, like, on a serious note though like just why is everything about your star sign and your whatever your moon rising i'm not an astrology person but it's just like it's cool if you like it but you should be able to take responsibility for the part of it and improve it so stop blaming it on your star sign success when you blame other people you're not a failure until you blame other people for your own mistakes or for your plight or whatever the case is if you take responsibility yes you are successful and you're heading in the right direction but if you're blaming other things outside other people things that you can't control then it's like where will you have to take responsibility you know get it together baby. oh my gosh you guys another one that annoys me is when people also and it, when an excuse for everything for people is i'm an introvert like of course first of all introversion extroversion and oh
Introversion, extroversion slash extraversion is a spectrum. Like people can be like all over the place. People vary like along that spectrum, right? So it's not it's not one or the other. It's not black or white. But I think people forget that, and it's like, okay, yes, introversion is a real thing. Maybe most of these are introverts, or you you identify as one. But like, come on, you can't say that everything is because you are an introvert. You guys, I remember one time in 2019 summer, me and my sisters we went to LA, and there was this Uber driver that was just talking about how oh, he has the business and his business is making so much money and Uber is a side hustle and the reason why he does Uber is because he's an introvert and he needs to be able to socialize and it's a good way to socialize and also make more money and like he's just an introvert so like talking to people on him is like everything is just because he's an introvert and he's just like such an introvert like I don't care I don't care like work on your social skills like I said nobody is perfect Get it, like you can't keep blaming other people. Get it together. If you're not good with talking in public, you have to practice. Practice makes perfect. Except you want to sit in your plight for the rest of your life and wait for somebody to come and rescue you, which is not going to happen. Go out and get it. Get up and get it together. You have the resources there. You have the resources at your fingertips. So what is your excuse? What is your excuse? It's it's fine if like your way of you know re feeling rejuvenated or like recharged. Is by being by yourself. That's cool. I love being by myself too. I'm such a self-proclaimed loner. That's why I call myself professional self-proclaimed loner. I don't really be having friends like that. I do it like literally. I just like being by myself. You know, just doing my own thing, sleeping naked. And, you know, just living my best life. But it's like, come on, you can't not. You can't not want to improve on something and just sit on it, like. Some of you might say, oh yeah, like, what makes you successful is hard work, blah, blah, blah. But like, networking and making connections is also important. What skill do you need to be able to network and make connections effectively? Talking to people, like, that is it. Like, you don't need to come and start saying you're an introvert. Like, get, fix, do whatever you need to do. If you don't have money for therapy, I understand therapy is expensive, so I don't have money for it. You can watch videos online there are so many resources out there like stop giving excuses and just get just get out of it and just get it together another, another one that, that pisses me off is when it has to do with women especially when it comes to like this whole wife marry well that's the nickname me and my sister give it but like i mean wife material or like oh you know like i feel like people always put to put women in a box oh she's the career woman or the housewife oh she's either a good girl or a freak she's either a this or a that she's either this or that like why must it be one or the other being a woman should be enough we don't need to start dividing ourselves all together oh she's either ambitious or she just wants to be a trophy wife I'm so bloody stinking what everybody can want what they want stop putting labels on women anybody can be who they want to be let's say it and actually leave that reality and stop contradicting ourselves like if you want to um you can be you can be anything and everything you want i've already mentioned that it doesn't have to be one or the other and i feel like a lot of pick me women are the ones that do things like that oh to make themselves feel better oh I, I, at least i have like he's going to want to marry someone like me because I'm a good girl. Like she's a freak, she's been around, she's loose, she's this, she's that. Like, what do you get from that? How does that make you feel better? It doesn't because you're miserable. People that are not miserable, they don't go around saying things like that about other people. For example, if a guy picks you, no, if a guy picks another girl over you and you think you're more good looking than her, you don't need to slander her looks. Like, he has his reasons. Anybody can choose whoever they want. There are many fishes in the sea. The world population is almost 8 billion people at this point. Everybody has options. You don't need to start saying, oh, she's a this, she's a that, she's a this, she's a that. Like, let's dead that. And it's just like, it's so frustrating. Like, with the whole, like, sex and sexuality thing. Even sexuality, sexuality pisses me the freak off too. Like, say I kiss a girl, yeah, everybody's like, oh my gosh, are you gay? Are you bi? And it's like, must you put me in a box? Like, must you put me in a box? Just leave me to 
explore leave me to do what i want everybody's journey is different everybody's life is different like you don't have to immediately this is why people live secret lives and live double lives because they don't want to get judged by like doing certain things just leave people and let them be you don't have to put on in a box like if someone identifies with a label that's cool that's good that's great for them but like if they don't then it's also it's also fine and also i think something that contributes to this whole label thing here yeah, Obviously, you can express yourself however you want to express yourself, but people that wear a part of them on their sleeve is also like it kind of enables that behavior. You know how people just pick one part of themselves and they just like they just like define the entirety of their character by that. Let me think of one. Um, I was I was going to say like some people like where they are from is like their entire character, and it just like perpetuates stereotypes, but like okay let me expatiate a bit like some people the way they talk how they dress how they express themselves is because of where they are from or like because they are black for example so it enables other people that might not be as educated on those group of people to think that everybody that identifies as such acts the same way do you understand what i'm saying i think you do um well you guys i'm sure you guys can understand what i'm saying like it's just obviously like i said you can do whatever you want but i think it as the fall to that fire i also hate that whole like strong woman versus like weak woman like who is a strong woman and who is a weak woman and why are you calling someone weak and like is it just to make you feel better about yourself oh as a strong independent ambitious woman okay who is a weak woman are you referring to people that are not as ambitious as you or people that are housewives like what exactly is your point just being a woman, having a period, <laughs> even if you don't have a period, because I know not every woman has a period, just having a woman, existing as a woman is already enough. There's enough pressure from society where you are to certain age, everybody is pressuring you to, to get married or to find somebody, or people will be talking about your body. If you show too much thing, they will talk. If you don't show a lot of thing, you're a prude. Like they always have something to say. If you're too opinionated, oh, she's too loud. If you don't say any, any of your opinions, she's a pushover, or, or like she, she allows men to walk over her. Like there's always something people have to say. That should be okay. That should be enough. We don't have to start saying, oh, me. <laughs> I don't wear makeup like I'm comfortable in my own skin and like because I know how God made me and I'm this and I'm great and I'm that and like she wears so much makeup and like the makeup is just so cakey mind your business if somebody else wears makeup makeup is a form of self-expression even if they want to kick their face how is it affecting you how is it affecting your decisions it's not it's not affecting you in any way if you want to drive the person is not stopping you from going anywhere <laughs> If you want to invest your money, the person is not stopping you. If you want to whatever, it is not stopping you. It affects you in no way, shape or form. So why do you have something to say about it? Just move on with your life. You're just pressed because you don't have good good makeup skills. You don't know how to do your makeup. Instead, learn. Ask the girl that knows how to do makeup, how she does her makeup. Ask her for tips. And that's how you get better. Like, ah, these things just really annoy me. And it's just frustrating and like... It's crazy. It's, it's just ridiculous. And also, like, it's crazy how, like, when, like, guys sleep around, people always justify it. Oh, huh, men are dogs. Like, they will do whatever it is. Like, men are just, like, really physical. Blah, 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 blah. But if a girl does it, oh my gosh, she's a whole, she's a blah, 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 blah. Like, everything bad in the book that is, is said about her, even though she's still very responsible about it. Like, why is the woman always the one getting all the labels? Hello? Well, in the 21st century, it's 2021. We need to get rid of all of that. Thank you very much. Like, I'm just so done. I'm so over all of I'm so over all of this. Like, honestly, my blood, my bone marrow, my veins, my flesh, my skin, my body hair, everything is done. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. Stop labeling us. Stop labeling yourself. Actually, if you want to label yourself, that's that's cool do what you want to do but don't label me don't put me in a box i don't like it i don't appreciate it i'm versatile thank you very much i can do everything and anything i send my mind to i don't have to choose a box to fit into thank you because i'm not living to please you i'm living to fulfill my dreams i'm living to please myself and to please god so mind your business thank you very much yeah, that was a little bit, you know, 
passionate but like i said i'm sure you guys know i'm a very passionate person and everything comes from a good place on this channel it's just that whenever i'm just annoyed about certain things and like fed up which is why i made this series in the first place i just like to get it out i think it's a healthy way and people connect with me i love each and every one of you that's the end of my video thank you so much for watching tell me if you're a fan of this look and my question is when I said that label thing about women, oh, good girl versus freak, the wife material versus uh, she's for the streets or whatever, like, do you guys think it's mostly created by like pick me women? If you don't know what a pick me woman is, it's somebody that her whole life is literally based on what a man wants. The way she dresses is what she thinks a man wants. The way the fact that she's learning how to cook is because she thinks a man will want that. All of that, like, and it's always like the traditional stuff, the stuff that is like traditionally wife material or like what women should do. Um, do you think it's usually those women that like um, perpetuate these stereotypes and like label other women? Or do you think it's men as well? Or do you think it's them enabling women? I just want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you feel about this video. If you have any comments about this video, comment in the comments. Don't message me privately. Don't message me personally. I appreciate your support. I really do from the bottom of my heart. But it helps the YouTube algorithm for you to comment on the video. Don't be shy. I don't fight people, I don't eat people, I actually get back to all my comments, maybe not on time, but I do. Don't forget to check out the wash. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!